The live-action Little Mermaid has caused quite a bit of controversy on social media because if you criticize anything to do with the film, a fight starts and you're called awful names by the people who want it to succeed, and Holly Bailey, the star of it, has come out and defended her casting and Disney, but now a washed-up Disney actor has come out and called anyone saying it looks bad, pathetic, and broken. I have a bunch of different things to show off, though, but before before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon or a supporter via YouTube memberships. So I wanted to start off with this bounty into comics article, Disney star Josh Gad buys into the narrative that any and all criticism of live action The Little Mermaid is racist, decries critics as broken and pathetic. Now, I personally do not like the look of this movie for several reasons. It's not just because of her casting, but of course, anyone who says anything negative about this movie is wrapped into the same category and we are called ists, which is very unfortunate because I wish that I could just say, I don't like the look of this movie and not be called terrible things like most people want that. But unfortunately, uh, that is just not the case, especially because of people like Josh Gad who think that they're better than everyone else and because they're celebrities, they can just attack whoever they want more so than perhaps any of the modern Disney remakes and their attempts to grift on the brand recognition of their animated classics, The Little Mermaid's production has failed to garner any significant hype amongst general audiences. Between its uninspired origins, muddy visuals, and the cynical nature of its identity politics-inspired existence, many audience members, including some hardcore brand acolytes, have widely found themselves disinterested in what they expect to be yet another subpar cash grab. Now, I have previously really loved the Disney princess films. I like a lot of Disney's animated films. I feel like they're usually very lighthearted, and they were very pretty. That's why I really liked the animateds. But unfortunately, all of the live actions that they've done have had problems like the live action Lion King. It was 90% CGI. You had something like Cinderella, which was pretty good, but it did change quite a bit from the original movie, and some of the casting decisions there weren't great. Uh, the Beauty and the Beast one obviously took quite a bit of backlash, and that is actually because of Josh Gad. If you do not remember, he actually played LeFou in the live-action Beauty and the Beast, and of course in the original animated, he was just a character who was friends with Gaston, but in the live-action, they decided to actually make LeFou gay and be very very uh, interested in a relationship with Gaston, and then by the end of the movie, he actually ends up dancing with another man at the ball. So it's classic that Josh Gad, someone who is for characters being changed around for the sake of modernity, would speak out about this. So there was this tweet that did kind of blow up talking about how the YouTube trailer of The Little Mermaid is currently being mass disliked by YouTube MAGAists. The trailer has generated over 3 million dislikes and the new trailer has over 600,000 and those numbers have obviously grown. The original trailer that we got is currently sitting at 3.3 million dislikes and 1.1 million likes, but the new trailer is currently at 1.1 million dislikes to 211,000 likes. So clearly the people who are excited for this film uh, are not showing up to show support. They are not leaving a lot of likes and positive comments on this trailer. But the article then goes on to say it would be this dishonest approximation of the situation that caught his attention and he decided to retweet it and say, imagine being so broken and pathetic in life that your chief concern is the skin color of a make-believe singing mermaid. And of course, they are acting like this is the only problem when it is not. There is a 
giant array of issues with this film. First of all, it is based on previously existing material and characters. For years now, even Disney has marketed their version of Ariel, their Little Mermaid, and that is the image that we have of her. When you say Ariel, your mind instantly goes to the animated version, and, well, it's worked for them before to market her, but not anymore, because they need something new and modern. Um, but there are also several other problems just with this film in general, not even regarding Holly Bailey's casting. First of all, it looks pretty dull. The newest trailer does look a little bit more promising, but there are still a lot of shots in there that look very bland and very boring and dull. Not very exciting. Uh, her animal creatures, like Sebastian and Flounder, look straight out of a horror movie. Okay, they look so so spooky, and uh, Melissa McCarthy, okay? I do not like her as an actress in general, but her as Ursula gives me even less hope in this film succeeding. But of course, uh, you know, they're not taking into consideration people are disliking this movie and its trailers because of those reasons. No, no. If you dislike this movie, you're pathetic and broken, which is just rich. Again, coming from someone like Josh Gad, who acts like they're better than everyone else, and this is someone who doesn't really care about respecting someone's original creation and the, you know, original tales they're actually basing these films off of. Of course, though, notably, he is not the only Disney star to have publicly thrown their support behind the company's latest use of their favorite deflection tactic. I did talk about this in a previous video, but the actress behind Tinkerbell actually came out and said that, uh, you know, she was okay with the changes. Obviously, she's the actress who, you know, is the center of attention surrounding that film right now. But her statement actually wasn't all that bad because she didn't just call us ists and phobes for not liking the way that this movie looked. She simply supported Holly Bailey and said she's a really nice person in real life. She's like a real life Disney princess. But of course, Holly Bailey has been a bit more vocal. She did call people criticizing the movie ra racist trolls as well. So unfortunately, uh, Josh Gad is just another name to add to the list. Disney really has all of their actors coming out right now trying to defend this movie as much as possible. Honestly, not that surprising. Disney is basically telling these people, for what it seems, Disney's telling them, you have to go into these interviews, you have to say all these things, defend the movies, defend your casting, and they are because they have contracts and they go into the interviews they're told to. But it only makes these actors and actresses look even worse to the public. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this and found it important and informative, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.